Rivers under center. Steelers with their nickel package. Rivers is back. Looking to his right. Throws a bullet. And it's intercepted. That's Ryan Clark. Took it away. Second down and ten from the gun. And that is intercepted by Ryan Clark on the deflection. Trying to hit rookie Marcus Smith with this pass. And Ike Taylor was defending. Ike Taylor kind of baits him into the throw. You say, the quarterback, oh, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I got off coverage. But Ike Taylor, there it is. Ryan Clark is behind him. So he doesn't have to worry if the receiver runs by him. He only has him in the short area. So Joe Flacco's got to recognize that coverage. Second and 13 at the 16. Play action fake. He's back. He throws it. And the pass is intercepted. The Steelers have it. And that is Brian Clark still on his feet up over the 15. Steelers turn down the penalty. And McCoy will work out of the gun. McCoy, high throw, and he threw it right to Ryan Clark of the Steelers. Second interception for Pittsburgh, and Clark is brought down as he went airborne. Benjamin Watson with the tackle. 21-yard return off the INT. Let's check it out if uh, Clark did get his hands under this as he dives for this ball overthrown by McCoy. And that ball is secure, that right hand underneath it, so that will stand. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns don't challenge it. They have nothing to lose by go to throw. Intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Clark. Hey. Joe Flacco off the play action, trying to get it to Todd Heap, who's bracketed short, bracketed deep, and on an overthrow, it sails right to Ryan New set of downs for Cobb from the shotgun under pressure over the middle and it's taken intercepted. Picked off at the 40 yard line by Ryan Clark. The Steelers have hardly been getting their share of turnovers, but they get one here. For nine, including a playoff loss on first down. Palmer slings it. His receiver falls down and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Clark. Clark across midfield. And Clark is tackled. Don't get frustrated in it because it's going to be rough. Second and ten. Blanco able to spin out of the sack. And look out, he's intercepted. It's intercepted by Ryan Clark in midfield. Looked like Flacco was maybe just trying to throw it away at Kiesel on him, and that's the first pick he's thrown against the Steelers in a long time. The last four games, he had not been picked by Pittsburgh, but he is here by Ryan Clark. Well, let's watch Brett Kiesel first. He's going to get the pressure on Joe Flacco. And then Joe Flacco does a nice job, comes up in the pocket, gets away from him, and the bottom of your screen, that's Dennis Pitta. Going up the sideline, Will Clark deep sees it, makes the easy, easy interception, and just an ill advised throw by Joe Flacco. There's Pitt up, he's trying to get open, and Clark playing center. Yes, well, he might want to go back to school. Hey, perhaps the most unbelievable stat through this point of the season, the Steelers had no turnovers created until that play right there. And, and, and that's just kind of counterintuitive. Not done. How great the Steelers' defense has been over. Fourth quarter, same score, Bills ball. First and 10 from their own 22, looking for Marquise Goodwin. Instead, picked off by Ryan Clark, who returns it for 37 yards. This would lead to a 37-yard Sean Sweesham field goal. Steelers lead by the score of 20 to three. Next Bills possession, third and 17 from their own 33. Third play of the drive. Manual sack by Cameron Hayward. He finished with 155 yards passing, a touchdown and a pick. Steelers win it, 23 to 10.